welcome back to this channel again my name is bimbo i'm a nigerian trained pharmacist and a uk care assistant and in today's video i'd like to share some key insights about my recent interview for the role of a support worker with one of the nhs trusts so if you are out there and you have an upcoming interview with the nhs or with any private organization or you're just curious to know what questions what sort of questions the nhs ask healthcare assistants then please try as much as possible to watch this video till the very end even if you have never watched any of my videos to the very end also if you are still struggling with writing your nhs supporting statement for any kind of role then don't be left out because the train has moved so i shared a template that has helped a number of people to get their invitation for different nhs job roles in the past and this template is one that after you have watched it you will come and thank me later so don't wait check out the video i'm going to share the link on the screen remember that if you get a job with the nhs and your pay is up to twenty three thousand two hundred per annum then the trust is able to sponsor you and also if you get a sponsorship with any nhs trust you can be rest assured that you can bring in your dependent to you know get their visas under you to remain with you or to come over with you to the uk so without wasting much of your time i saw a video on tiktok where a lady went for nhs interview recently and she shared the questions that she was asked so i thought after sharing the template to write your supporting statement it will only be right for me to come and share some of the interview questions with you as well so let us watch this video together hi guys come with me for my first nhs interview in uk actually i really didn't wanted to share this story initially because it did not have the sweet ending pass like people always look forward to but at the same time i told myself like it's not every time we share the good story out there sometimes you need to share the bad story is that for somebody to learn or for you to learn in order you know to encourage yourself to do better next time and not to give up and besides the questions they asked me during the interview that i'll be sharing in this video i don't know who might need it for an upcoming nhs interview or other interview with any other organization in the support worker or being a healthcare assistant and um during the interview it was three months panel there were three men and one one lady they introduced themselves and they don't really need to ask you what's your name because the first question they will ask you is tell us about yourself so i'll be going into the question properly now the first question they ask me is tell us about yourself and at this period this is where you sell yourself like you market yourself to the extreme like i really marketed myself the place I went to do in the interview was like two hours far away from my place. But please, I don't mind. I wanted to work in an NHS. So I gave it all my haul. I sold myself like I oversold myself. I looked through all the qualities they really wanted for the, for the position. I checked online for the, for the trust in order to know their, in order to know their, I checked the trust in order to know their values online so that I would give them whatever they really wanted. And the qu second question was, where have you ever shown concern to somebody outside work? This place, I told them where I have showed concern to somebody outside work. And here's the third question. Have you ever worked in a meta health setting? I think this is where I got it wrong. Maybe I should have said yes. I said no, but I told them situations where I've supported people with autism and things like that, but not in a trust and the fourth question is have i ever worked as a team and what have i learned working as a team yeah i talked about communication i talk about timing i talk about being strong and things like that and the fifth question is what how do i feel about working with different diversity and here is where i come with one of the six core values of nhs where it talks about everyone matters i told them that i really don't care about working with any diversity or in any condition six what would you do if you are concerned about a patient seven what will you do or what have you ever done whenever you see your pa a patient in a distress and the eighth question is what will you do if your patient raises a case of abuse and this is where you talk about safeguarding hmm, i really talked about it 
and the last one which is like the ninth one is do you have a car do you have access to your own car if you're still going in this care work and you don't have a car yet or you don't know how to drive please go and learn how to drive have your full uk driver's license and with all this did i get a job no i did not get a job and i may and am i giving it another shot yes i'm giving it an, uh, giving it another shot definitely i'm not giving up and did you ask me if i give it all my all? yes i gave it my all even went with three days fasting and prayer <laughs> That is how much I wanted to work in an NHS. So I gave it my all, but God knows best. They said no. And there yeah, I am working on full of hope. They did not give me the reply immediately. They actually called me on phone, but we move. <laughs> okay. After watching this lady's video, would you want me to share my own answers to the questions that she was asked? Also, remember that not nhs not all trusts would require you to have a driving license or to have or own a car it all depends on your proximity to that trust so if it is a trust that you live very close by then they may not really want to consider you having a driving license or owning a car but, but if your address is quite a distance from that trust that may be the reason why she was asked if she owned a car or if she had a driving license except it's an agency where they have to send you to different trusts but if it is a trust that is employing you it all depends on your proximity to your you know prospective place of work so not all nhs trusts will ask you to own a car or to have a uk driving license however it is very important because it gives you an edge over other applicants especially if you're applying to different companies as a healthcare assistant if you have your driving license and if you own a car you have a better chance of getting a job with sponsorship in today's united kingdom so i haven't watched this video if you'd like me to drop my own answers please in another video let me know in the comment section if you have watched this video to this point i'd like to say a very big thank you and if today is your first time coming across my channel Thank you for tuning in and please don't be a stranger. Consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel. If you are also a returning subscriber, thank you for your love and support all the time. Thank you so much and I hope to see you in my next video.